Thank you for tuning in, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe or hit that like button. Me and my brother Ricky Love, we out here. We on another adventure for some crawfish hunt. So we can start dropping our bait. We scouting around. Uh. Okay. Brother Ricky said they might have a lot of big ones here. So this might be our first stop. All right, we just got to our location. Me and Rick got set up. Look at these flooded trailer and truck that's been hit by the flood out here. You see how high the tide got from that truck right there. You see that where my finger is? But yeah, we are getting ready to set up right now. We got our bait. We got a stick. You can use any stick. We got a stick that we already made. Maybe two, three foot of line. Start grabbing a bait. Well, how I knot it. Like put them together in two like this. See how it's opened up. Shut them tight. Tie it. And give it a knot. Just like that. We got one set up. He already dropped one. I'm gonna go drop one in the water. Getting fit, gotta stay fit. <laughs> no, I'm just like, just gotta stay working out. You know how that be. Yeah, this is my workout, guys. Rick is already set up. All right, see you in a bit. Just a little chaos after the flood, I'm showing you guys. All these out here. You gotta stick under that tree there. A little key hint. You want to find a location to put your bait under the tree in the shade or in the, you know, like maybe two, three foot of waters. Do not put them in an open like there's nothing out here. It's most likely hanging on branches and trees. That's where you catch all the crawfish at. So keep that in mind. If you ever go out here with a boat, make sure you know the canal and start stabbing things under the tree. Uh, should be there. I don't have one yet. All right, we're about to get ready pick up some crawfish all right guys this is the net we're using walmart net you can find these at walmart 14 dollars small holes 14 dollar crawfish net we'll see ricky try to see him get some we'll see what we have here see if there's even anything we'll find out we just barely put it and look at this look at this not even a minute or two we just got here Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. We're in the honey hole, guys. Remember what I tell you guys. Location like this. Branches and tree or branches sticking out the water. Tree or logs sticking out the water. You want to put your bait near it. That's where the crawfish be hanging around, especially in the current like this. Keep that in mind. All right. We're off to start, guys. Let's get it. Not bad, huh? Take y'all a tour around this area. I guess it used to be like a little park or something. You see all that that was hit by the flood. There's a lot of truck there. Truck, trailer. There's even a forklift in there. It's like a whole barn area that was wiped by the flood. It's kind of creepy to be honest with you. It looks creepy. It's the first time coming to this location here. So, you're getting in with what I'm getting in. I don't know either. Doors all open. Trailer. Look at that. This is still locked. Let's walk around here. Let's take a look. Oh, they got a Chrysler here too. Look. Jeez. It's all flooded. Took out the window. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, this whole place is wiped out. Yeah, but now it's drying up. Yeah, that's why we out here getting crawfish. Ricky's all the way out there right now, picking up. He's right over there. See him right here? He's picking up some bait. 
Let's see what kind of hole we got so far. Oh, look at that. Look at this one. Oh, moly, look how big this guy is. I can't even fit him in a camera. Monster female crayfish. This is a mon. Ah, he got me. <laughs> ah, that hurt it. Hit me right through the glove. Why you gotta be so mean? Let go. I'm just trying to show you off. Just trying to show how big you are. She is. Gotta be so mean. How big he is. All right. Back to catching crawfish. I didn't get to record that on camera, guys, but this was my one haul off of one bait. But we had to leave it for like five minutes so they could smell the bait. Woo, shoo! Hit that subscribe for these guys. Look at them. They're some big guys. Look at that. They're big. But yeah. That's one bait, guys. That's one bait. Rick over here. You give it a minute. You gotta yeah. throw them in deeper. I put them in the middle. Yeah. Follow little Rick with that Walmart net. <laughs> huh? Where? In there? Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Careful how you step in here. He said that there was a ball wire in the middle of that water. All right. I'll let him do his thing. I'll give my bait a couple more minutes before I go pick it up. Here's a tip, guys. When you guys picking up your bait, make sure you pick it up slow. And when the bait barely touches the surface, that's when you want to come in with your scoop. And that's the only way you'll get them all at once. Or else you're going to spook them. She will produce. She will produce these baby lobsters. Shoo! Look at that. Hey, guys. Yeah? Give it a minute, let us smell the bait, Rick. They're coming. All good size, too. This one. Yeah, this one's hella heavy, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's hella right here. Get a honey hole. Look at this. Get a honey hole, guys. Shoo. Hit a honey hole. Look at that hole. Look at that hole. Look at that hole, Rick. Alright, you guys tuning in? This video right here, I'm gonna do a catch, clean, and cook. So if you stick around to the end, you're gonna see me cleaning it and cooking it, purging it out, stir frying it my way. It's the way I like to do it, okay? But for now, let's catch some more crayfish. What's up, viewers? Crayfish said, hit that like. Don't miss out on the next update. Stay tuned for some stir fry crawfish. Oh, he looking at me. Oh, two got away. Two of them got away. Oh, we still got them, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this. Oh, look at these guys. Look at them. Yeah, get an idea how big it is? It's not big, y'all. Give you an idea. See this? Shoo! Baby lobsters. California style. Come out here and make sure you know these canal. Oh my god, this one gave a good haul. Sheesh. Alright, this one gave me a good haul. Big massive hole. Look at this. Whew. I was like eight in one shot. Look at these guys. I just barely started on this one here. You gotta work your way down the way. Look at that, guys. Big ones. Coming back to this one, it's been like one minute, almost two minutes. Let's see what she can produce. Still got some monsters. Some monsters. Hit that like. <laughs> it's so we did end up going to a new location. 
but my phone yeah, died. I, I wasn't able to record it. We ended up catching four more bucket. And if you yeah, stick around this stick, long, stay okay. tuned to the end for the catch, clean, and cook. Anything here? Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. See you guys on my next Got one. Like a whole bucket right here. Yeah, Make it, sure man. you hit that subscribe. No, that's thanks that's for tuning in it. once again. Sometimes it be slow like that. So what it is is uh everybody comes there. So this spot has probably been rampage. That's the reason why I was only able to get a bucket out of here. Well, almost two bucket to be exact. So now I'm just gonna have to relocate. You got the other two ready? No, yours. Yours under the tree, no? Okay. All right, that's it. Got one, two bucket in a bird bag sack. But it's already late in the evening. We, we did a late run. We got out here at five. Everybody else is already coming in to the dock. Look at them. Look at them. You knew it right there. All right, guys, that's it. My day came to an end. Stay tuned for the clean and cook in the end. I'm about to show y'all how I get down when I get to the house. But we're done for the day. We'll call it a wrap. Make sure you hit that like. We end our day just like this. Let me know what y'all think. That's our catch. We're going in it for the day. That's it, guys. See you on my next trip. I'm going camping this Friday. Guys, for now, stay tuned for the catch, cook, and clean. Peace, guys. Oh, there's some big ones. Sack full. These guys right here. These big ones right here. Look at, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at the body on this guy. Before my fingers. Yeah, this is what we end up with. This is what y'all see. Well, I don't show you guys this ending part of the video, but I want to show you guys. What we do is um, we like to keep them in the onion sack, those sacks. And what those onion sack do, it keeps them alive. Yeah, this is what we do, and whatever we have on the tub here, our family members come get it. Oh, you at the gym? And we keep majority we boil most of these uh, and we no, freeze it up got, for year round for ourselves because like i said these are seasonal these crayfish are seasonal they're not year round you know, so we, we take what we can store what we can and this is what you let see what's up everybody i just got back it's been a long day got back um from crawfishing Spread the love around, share some crawfish with family and friend. The rest, we all purging out. Me and my brother took some home with me. And of course, I'm going to have to select all the big crayfish for myself. And purging it right now. Obviously, you got to purge them. Just get all that dirt out of them. Get it nice and clean. You see how dirty the water is? This is what I use for my stir-fried crawfish. Well, I'm just missing green onion. So, well, I didn't get a chance to go to the store and get it. So, I got chopped garlic. Some pepper, onion, so I'm using butter with Asian crab paste. I don't know if y'all ever tried this before, well I tried it a lot of time and th this rare seems to go right for me. Crab paste with my stir fried crawfish and some pepper. These, these are optional, you can put these, hoisin sauce and stuff, uh, stir fry sauce. I got sugar, salt and black pepper. It's a day haul right here. I told y'all I was gonna do a clean cook for you guys. I already purged the crawdad. So it should be nice and clean now. So what I'm doing here, I like to boil my crawdad before I stir fry it. This is the way I do it. In my opinion, I think it's, it's fire. So crab paste is the way to go. This is what I'm using for my stir fry, crab paste. Of course, uh, garlic, pepper, onion, some sugar and a little black pepper and salt. You don't want to go too hard on the salt, black pepper. Uh, you know, you don't want your crawfish salty. But the sugar, you know, sugar is based on preference, um, how sweet you want it. But yeah, I'm going to let this craw crawfish boil for about maybe 10, 15 minutes. After it's done boil, I'll drain the water and throw it in my frying pan. Hey guys, getting ready to stir fry my crawfish. Got my garlic in, let that butter melt. I already boiled my crawfish.
Alright, dropping my crayfish in. As you can see, just enough for me. There ain't nobody else gonna eat but me. Probably my daughter. So yeah. Now I'm gonna start dropping in my ingredients. I'm going with the, the crab paste. You can get it at the Asian store. They got a small, medium, large jar. I'll put about like half of it. I don't need to put all of it, but I got about half left that I can throw in there. Alright, that's all my crab paste that I had left. Get a little stir. Now I'm going to go ahead and come in with my sugar. Like I said, sugar is based on, on how sweet you want it. Just a few. I like mine a little sweet. Salt, a little black pepper. Drop it in there. I'm gonna go with some oyster sauce, stir fried oyster sauce. Put as much as you like. Whatever you think that's right for the amount of crawfish you have here. Stir it around. Oh my God, you guys just smell this through the camera. Giving that creamy look, that, that glossy, clear look. Oh, that smells good. It smells real good. I'm coming in with some uh, green pepper. Make it a little spicy. I know some of y'all thinking that, whoa, all these greenies are taking the flavor out from the crawfish. Like I said, this is the way I like to eat it. I like to eat it with all the flavor in there. Because I got the Asian sauce with it. If you guys know, you know. Got that uh, fire Asian crawfish sauce. These sauce go good with catfish, striped bass, especially if you're out in the outdoors using this sauce. Got some striped bass or catfish you're throwing on the grill. You ain't got to put nothing on it. Just use this dip right here and it's fire. Just like that, we're going to get ready to feast. All right, guys, the feast starts. And you can smell that. Mm. Smell that butter, garlic, and the crab paste. I to eat my crawfish with rice. And of course, I got the crack sauce here. You know, you know. All right, let's try it out. Ooh, still hot. Got my bag here. Put all the scrap of the crawfish. Oh. Here's the meat, dip it with the sauce. Oh my god. Can't go wrong. It's so good, I can't even talk. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Crack it open for you. See all that? You can suck all that, eat all that out. Just like this. Ah. Sock. Get it with your sauce. Give it. Oh. Oh. Spice. Oh. Spicy. Sorry, I'm enjoying the crawfish. But yeah, go give it a shot, guys. Go buy crab paste, some garlic, green onion. You can put onion in there, some pepper, um, oyster sauce for stir fry. <coughs> but just remember, when you do stir fry, boil first before you stir fry it. Get it all nice and red before you throw it in the fryer. It's been a long day crawfishing with me and my brother Ricky. A meal like this, well deserved. I can't say it enough. It's fire. Oh yeah.
Mmm. Oh my god. Like my daughter say, when something's good, she's like, it's busting. It's busting, busting. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Hope it show you some little tricks here and there. But stay tuned for future videos. And thanks again, once again, for everybody that's watching. I really appreciate the love and the support. Y'all gonna see me do a catfish clean and cook at the campsite. And hopefully it's a banger. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, this is enough. See you guys on the next one. Make sure you hit subscribe. Thank you.